In this quick episode, we're going to take a look at several big changes that occurred in Golem Overlord today that left me scratching my head. If you had questions when you logged in today or you haven't logged in yet, please stand by. Hey all you Golem Answers, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here saying thanks for dropping by. I appreciate your time. First off, if you like this kind of content, please uh, like and subscribe to this video. Uh, I do appreciate it and it helps me out. Okay, into the video today. Uh, I wanted to go ahead, it's been a, a little while since I did a Golem Overlord specific video, but I wanted to go ahead and felt I had to make a video because as soon as I got up this morning um, and I did my morning log into my various games, uh, I had several immediate questions hit me in the face in Golem Overlord because there were several changes. Now, first of all, I would say that um, you should be on Discord and join the Golem Overlord Discord if you have not and if you play this game or if you're interested in this game because uh, Yixen does make changes sporadically. He uh, is all the time working on the game, but sometimes... And there might be a drought a few uh, a week or two where there's not a whole lot of changes in the game and then all of a sudden he works on it and in a spurt gets a bun bunch of changes out um, and he's pretty good about updating the golem overlord change log um, under the discord channel so i'll say that so um, there's no way this video is going to uh, cover all the changes he did today because there's a whole long laundry list but there's a few things that i wanted to point out first of all you will note that uh, golem overlord has its own url instead of this the older uh, splex um, dot gg um, they have their own url now the big question uh it's just kind of a little point but i uh, thought i'd mention it the big question that hit me in the face this morning was from a guildmate. A guildmate had asked earlier uh, when I first got up, uh, what, was the, what was wrong with the claiming and the usage of part and comp? Okay. Now, if you played for a while, you know that you go in and you're going to advance, like uh, say, for instance, you're going to build some scavenger golem or you're going to up your power or something like that. A window would pop up and you could uh, pay part of it in comp. You could pay part of it in part. Well, that's changed. Um, now, if you go up here and just click on the part icon, you will see that you still can see how much comp you have, but... Uh, it's automatic now, meaning that when you go in to pay for something, it uses it off your comp first, okay? Because it's going off the theory that there's really no reason to keep comp because you can't move it out of the game. Uh, you got to use it anyway, so whatever you buy, whatever you pay for, upgrade, it uses your amount of comp that you have first, and then it goes into uh, your part, uh, whatever part you have. Now, uh, the big change behind that is the fact that all claiming and burning is done client side now, meaning that it's done within the game. It used to be all reside on Hive Engine, okay? So when you did a claim, you had a Hive blockchain uh, check for that. You had to click the button or whatever. Um, and uh, for several reasons that I'm not going into, but basically to move the game into the direction that he wanted to, uh, he brought all that uh, client side. So um, you might have also noticed that when you got up and did your claim this morning that your, um, your amount of part and shard or, or part was different in game than what it was when you went to bed last night or something like that. Now your part is still over there on Hive Engine, but now there's a separation, and it works very much like um, like Splinterlands and several other games we play. In that, it's all going to be in game. Now you can go ahead and you can transfer that onto Hive Engine if you want, and vice versa, back and forth. But it's all going to be in game now. Uh, theoretically, that means that uh, everything's going to be a little bit quicker. Um, and he has several different other reasons for doing that as well, because, like I said, he has a development um, kind of goal uh, for the game. So anyway, there's a separation there now. But if you go to your wallet screen now, and this is another big change that happened today, um, you can see that here's the amount of part I have in game and I can choose to withdraw to Hive Engine or transfer in game from Hive Engine. 
okay? Then I can see the comp here. I can't really do anything with it uh, button-wise, but if I go to upgrade something, it's going to automatically use that first and then dip into my part. And then on the right, you can see my Hive Engine, hive engine balance uh, and the same, deposit or withdrawal, transfer back and forth. Now, another thing you will notice uh, here with the tabs are uh, within your wallet, you can see uh, your in-game history and what you've done. Okay, so this is the history for part, and you can see that I had a go. I burned, uh, I burned 557 part for scavenger golems there. In this particular instance, I claimed 763 part, and so on and so forth. So if you have a question about, hey, what just happened, or what did I do yesterday, you can go back and you can check out what happened or what you did. Okay, now this also ap applies to shard. Pyrite, like you can see Pyrite here. Um, yesterday I upgraded uh, my module, took 954 Pyrite. I, I burned a lot of stuff to get that, but uh, I was able to upgrade the module, my module quality. But my point here is you can see all the stuff that I burned here to be able to get up to that. But uh, basically that's the upgrade of your wallet. And it also, I don't see anything here for Hive. I've got a balance, but that's about it. You can still work with your uh, Hive as well. So I think I'll leave it at that and not extend this video out too much, but uh, I will uh, you know, finish off here and say that uh, Yixon has been doing a lot of work lately and he's uh, rearranged everything. The UI, uh, the GUI has, underwent a complete metamorphosis over the last few uh, weeks, last month. Everything is changing and it's moving in the direction that uh, I'm guessing he wants to move it in. Uh, it's taken a little while to kind of get used to it, but I like it. Um, it's uh, And he's moving into the new game mode and making a lot of changes in that direction. So I'm very excited for where the game's going. Um, so I'll leave it at that. If you have any questions about Golem of Warlord, uh, let me know in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. We do have two spots open in the guild. Our guild is doing pretty good. Um, yes, we have two spots open in the guild. If you would like a spot and you wanna be active, go ahead and use my link in the comments or, or my link in the show notes to go ahead and join Golem of Warlord if you wanna play. Um, like I said, uh, me and the guys I've been playing with uh, have been having a good time. It doesn't take a huge amount of time during your day. Uh, the earnings have been pretty decent, and you know most of what I earn off this game just gets folded back into the game, and I start to get more powerful and everything like that. But I think it's going in a good direction. I'm looking forward to the new game modes and new equipment that's coming out. Uh, so you know, uh, let me know uh, if you want uh, a spot in the guild. Just drop me a a ping on discord or let me know in the you know the notes on or the uh comment section on this video and i will invite you otherwise this has been bronze dragon bringing you a golem overlord update i hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy and i will see you on the flip side mm -hmm.